Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O. Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's all about anything and everything Land Rover. And guess what we got today? Yeah, we got a one-up Wednesday. Yes, sirree. Shout out to Lee Jackson there. He's my big uh, fan, the Freelander dude over there in England. Yeah, check this out. You got one of these? Lee was showing me one of his uh, collections. I didn't see that in there. But anyway, let's move right along here. Look at this gem. I believe I bought this on eBay because there's no way I could find anything about, uh, find uh, a beauty like this on uh on the grounds here in, in Wisconsin. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. What Do you know what this is? Well, obviously it's Freelander. It's a uh, right hooker. But do you recognize the maker, the, the toy maker? <clears throat> well, let's take a look. Bam! Oh, it's upside down. I always do that. I got a 50-50 chance, right? All right, I am not sure. Seiko? I want to say that's how you say that. Seiko. Uh, I have not found much about this company. Uh, the scale is 132 Land Rover Freelander, the Rover Group Limited, 1999 it says there. So th I believe that this is a 1999 uh, release and a 1999 model car. But this company, it's quite a big company I believe it's from Italy I'm not sure um, I tried to uh, on, on my research I couldn't find much about the company uh, at first I thought that this was uh, kind of one of those companies that sells uh, toys in the tray you know a whole bunch of them uh, here in Wisconsin we have Wisconsin Dells and a big tourist attraction and uh, a lot of times the, the shops sell trays, they're cardboard trays with molded plastic uh, and they got like nine, ten vehicles in there and kids can buy them for $5.99 or whatever. And uh, this one actually is a pullback. Whoa! Right off the screen. There you go. <laughs> so uh, it's a pullback. But um, so I, I don't know. Uh, but so in my investigating, that uh, company, model car company, does quite a few um, different models. They are, they are uh, like a Burgo and um, a Welly. Uh, they, they, the ones that I did see uh, that were for sale and stuff, I check on eBay too and stuff, uh, they are attached to a, um, a base plate. And uh, then uh, I think they're facing this way normally. Uh, and then it has that, uh, the name, Seco, Seco, uh, there, and then the name of the model. And that, uh, this came, uh, apparently this came in a cardboard box with the window on it, uh, on that nameplate. I received this one loose. And, uh, and I'm wondering if it came, I, I, you know, it has this sticker on there. So I don't know if this came in one of those trays, if that's one of the many different ways it comes. But anyway, um, and I, in my searching, now this is the one and only I have, and uh, it I, apparently it comes in a blue, a green, and a and a black, I believe. But uh, yeah, so this is this is a quite a nice model. I I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but this is a gem. I really like this. Uh, if I could, I would buy a Freelander in in this year uh, in the States. I would love to trek around. I do a lot of traveling, so I'd like to have a nice little uh, gas-sipping Land Rover. Uh, the uh, external bars here, a grab bar, I think that was a U.S. thing. But uh, this being uh, a right hooker, and look at there, ba-bam, opening doors. I mean, this is quite an interesting model. I mean, uh, very, very nice details on it. Uh, you see on the on the door jam, you know, some nice detail. 
Look at that. The, even the rear view, the side mirror has got, you know, chrome tape on it. The dash has got a sticker on there. Different color steering wheel that they pop in there. Uh, very, very nice. Nice sculpted seats. Um, and, and too, if, if I ever bought one, I would like to have the, the ribbed uh, aftermarket or, or, well, I think uh, Land Rover did, uh, uh, that was a Land Rover option. It wasn't an aftermarket, but those three ribs, I always like to have that. Um, and then I like the uh, loop-de-loops or the divots down here on the, on the rocker panel. I always like that look. But look at, I mean, they detailed the doorknobs. There's a Land Rover badge that you can actually see. Uh, the gas cap is colored. Uh, you know, the wheels are pretty much correct. You know, they're not, uh, you can't see through the rim, but, you know, it's solid. But, I mean, it's there and uh, correct that way. Look at this. I, I really had to try hard, but this thing has an opening hood on it, too. And uh, this is so brand new, I've never opened it but till today. Uh, look at that chrome engine, yeah! Shiny, shiny, kabam! Pretty nice, pretty nice in there. But uh, just a lot, a lot of details to this car. Um, I'm gonna switch my pointers here because you don't want to see my fat finger. But anyway, here, you know, it's got lens details. Uh, in the headlights, you know, that pop in there, you know, they're a little wanky there, a little bit of space there, but uh, I mean, it's there, you know, I mean, holy cow, some companies don't even have that, but once again, the badge on the front grill, Land Rover there, very, very nice, uh, you know, you got the windshield and then you have the black border on there, also, look at it, it's rib, different ribbing on the uh, Sunroof, T-roof, I'm not really sure what that was, but uh, you know the black trim there, very nice that way. Uh, you know they're kind of they're kind of like a rubber tire. Yeah, they're they're rubber tire. They're not you know hard plastic. You know uh, that like I really like. They're kind of skinny, <laughs> but uh, but they look good from this end. You know you don't need the big fat tires. You know, but uh, very nice. You know well, you know uh, you know could be nice to have a you know yellow blob there paint for that but very very nice let's take a look at this side passenger side here very nice uh depiction of uh the interior uh, yeah i i really like this model it's the one of that we've got and i uh, wouldn't mind getting another color or two uh i mean even look at the the triangle window there it's got you know black trim around it you know really kind of neat I'm not sure if this uh, top comes off, but you know, on the real thing in real life, that comes off. No, whoa, I just poked right in there. No uh, rear glass, but that's all right. That's all right. Pretty nice there. Now on the back, they they didn't. Uh, this is not a separate piece, a lens, you know, plastic lens there, but it it is colored. It it's a metallic uh, like decal that's on there. And uh, pretty, pretty neat. Uh, Freelander, nice uh, British style uh, license plate. Look at it, just nice little decals that they got on there. Uh, this is uh, painted on, uh, probably another decal on there. And then it's got the uh, Land Rover uh, embossed in the rear bumper. And uh, so just a very nice model. The back doesn't the back doesn't open, but that I mean, with three other opening parts, and I'm sure you know you could get that uh, that hood to pop off. I'm, it is another piece. I don't think it's connected to the glass or anything like that. I, I'm not sure, but that's a separate color, gray, nice gray. But I I think one of the important things, or or when you're looking at these, um, I know Welly puts out one of these. Uh, I, I believe uh, Sudoku. Uh, puts out one of these, but I think um, the Seco are the only ones that put this exterior roll bar roll cage on there. So I think if you're looking around and you see them and you see that on there, you might say, hey, oh, that's a, and I'm sorry, I think I'm saying that right, Seiko 
uh, model. But just a nice, clean, crisp thing. And like I say, I mean, I, I don't think I paid too much, but uh, I didn't have one. So, you know, I might have paid up to $10 with the shipping and everything. But just a nice, clean. It really looks nice. If you go and look with the Welly uh, brand, you know, these are just as, just as nice looking. So I, I'm not really sure. If you guys know, hey, please uh, comment down below if you know more about this model uh, company. And, uh, you know, how many of these do you have? You got the green, the blue, the black one. Um, you know, did you buy yours in the shadow box or are they on a, you know, a tray of, you know, nine or whatever? Uh, they, I just really love it. I really like this model. It sits on a different case uh, shelf of mine with uh, all my other. Uh, this is in uh, 130, 132nd scale, by the way. So this is a nice, chunky, nice uh, plastic base. Metal body, but everything else is plastic. Uh, you know, it's got the little motor in there. You know, it's not, you know, it's kind of corny, some of the, you know, the toy, but it is a toy, so it's got play value there. But uh, you don't use that just sitting there on the shelf. All righty, there you go. You got a one up Wednesday, a Freelander for you. Yeah, keep it free, keep it free. <laughs> All right, this is your friend Dano. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.